Alberto, this new armor of yours is flimsy. More fit for a beetle than people. Yeah, way too thin. Philistine! Peter shows a great protection. This is top craftsmanship, made from the finest quality materials. Built from... Ah. Ah. Uh-oh, I can almost see the steam pouring from his ears. Look out, he's gonna blow. <laughs> titanium. We reinforce the armor with titanium we pulled from the scrapyard. That's why they're lighter, and better protection. You guys shouldn't be such dicks. Well, why didn't he just say so? We'll see. Thanks, Vincenzo. You didn't have to. It was nothing, Dad. Ah. As for you, those two oafs took the last titanium vests. No, I'm not here for armor. Sophie sent me. You're supposed to bring me in on some plan? The plan? My plan? Carl agreed? Carl agreed! You hear that, Vincenzo? Not Carl. Sophie. You gonna share, or do I have to guess? Windmill. We take down the windmill. Bingo! The big windmill that provides power to the PK headquarters. <laughs> but first, we need the charges that Jack and Joe left at the water tower. Hmm? Would you bring them to us, Pilgrim? After we blow it up, all the UV lamps in the PK headquarters will go out. That'll allow the infected to attack them. Hmm? Old Villador will be free again. And you, you have a clear route to, uh, uh, you know, uh, the past chemical fallout uh, and to, uh, uh, what's it called? The central loop. The central loop, right. How do you know the PK will withdraw and not retaliate? Because Dad designed this windmill. He knows it like the back of his hand. And it's the PK base's only power source. Without it, the PKs won't last another night in Old Villador. But we must act fast before the peacekeepers catch wind of our plans. So, you win? Uh, fine, I'll do it. Okay, go to the water tower. We're going to use the charges that Jack and Joe tried to blow it up with. Let me know once you get there. Really hope we don't have to go there, come back. What not? Aiden! Did you do it? Did you find the music box? Yes. And I've come to give it back to you. But I said you could keep it for saving my life. And I mean what I say. Oh, I believe you. But the way you keep humming the tune from this music box, it seems you'd be happier if you had it back. So, it would have a better home with you than with me. Well, maybe. I have had it forever. Thank you, Aiden. You're welcome, my lady. All right. I've been wondering when that you know, I, why that quest didn't really have a finish. I can't remember how many videos ago we did that, but, or found her music box. It was on that, um, Goliath or Brute or whatever the fuck they're called. But yeah, we got her, got her music box back and then she just kind of, uh, there was no quest marker, no nothing, just... <laughs> Yep, that's what I'd do. Ow. Can you believe this? Something that fucked this dude. Shit. What happened here? Here! He's here! 
going on here? PKs. They've been searching us for weapons. Found our Molotovs and went ape shit, slaughtering everyone in sight. Looks like someone set us up. Who? And where are the bombs for Alberto? We managed to send some out. The couriers last reported near Star Square. Then silence. Alberto, the charges are gone. I'm going to the Star Square. That was their last check-in. Oh. Oh, my. Exactly. Ethan? Yeah. Be careful. Someone sold us out. Find the, the charges. Without them, the plan cannot proceed. I'm doing what I can. I'll be in touch. Who wants to bet that we're gonna get blamed for it? PK's ambushed your transport. He searched everyone and everything. Eventually they found the bomb. Someone tipped them off. And they took everything? Dunno. Suddenly something scared them off. Wait, what? Where are the charges? Hey! Um, they were in the yard. Come on, maybe they didn't steal all of them. Lucky few of the infected showed up. Everyone scattered, probably leaving the bombs behind. Don't know why they didn't steal them. They were right under their noses. Morons. <laughs> <laughs> that was really fucking funny. Ooh. Oh, that's cool. So I have a little mod on my, uh, on this thing that shoots fireballs. Take that, take that. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Heal, 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 heal. heal. Some of the explosives found.
probably would have been easier if I did this more during the day. But when have I ever been known to make smart choices? Go, 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 go. Alberto, I have the charges. Wonderful! Excellent! So what are you waiting for? Come back! Here I come. Okay. And now that we have that done, what was the thing I was going to do? Craft max of those. And a couple more Molotovs. My inventory. <coughs> It's a pretty cool mod, though, where, I can, like I said, I can shoot fireballs at the, uh, the end of that axe. Cross do to do. Gotta turn this in, then we're gonna sleep. took the rest. Damn, damn it, triple damn. Because of that traitor, our plan is in danger. We must act quickly. No, nitrates. We need fertilizer. Then we can make more explosives. The old night runners, they've got everything. And certainly all we'll need to make more bombs. I know a guy lives on a rooftop. Friend, a foe, it depends. Killian, you know him. But Hakon's friend, Killian? Yes, Killian. I'll explain how to... How to... Uh, uh, I know the way. Thanks. Buy a thousand fireworks. Get the move on, Pilgrim. Yeah, yeah, like I said, I'm going to take a nap first. I've never seen someone about your job so badly in my life. I thought I could trust them. Don't make me laugh. Grab a little sleep, heal up. Oh, that's reassuring. Haven't seen my kids in months because of this ridiculous blockade of the set. <sighs> I always end exit the wrong door. I don't care what game it is. I always find a way to leave the right, to leave the the door that has me running around the whole freaking place. Killian! Killian! It's Aiden! 
You there? Killian! I mean, are we going to find out that Hakan is the traitor? I really hope not, because I like him. Bingo. Alberto, I have your fertilizer. It's Vincenzo. Vincenzo? I, I can barely hear you. The PKs, they raided my place. I can't talk. The traitor, he sold us all out. Hayden, Dad, went ahead to the wing. Yeah. Meet him there. I'll meet you when I can. Make sure that fertilizer gets to my dad. Okay, I'll do my best. Just come quick. Someone, I mean, like I said, I... It... They're still after me. I'm pinned down, Hayden. Another patrol. You have to do it without me. Join my dad. I'll be on the radio the whole time. Me and your dad? You think that's a good idea? We have no choice, Hayden. Hurry. I'll go do that quest later. This plan means everything to my dad. I don't know if you noticed, but dad's kind of awkward and unappreciated. This is a chance to show Carl, Sophie, everyone at the bazaar that they were wrong. What dad's made of, what he can do. He'll be the hero of the bazaar after this one. He always wanted to do something big. That's exactly what I'm afraid of. Who wants to guess he ends up dead? Hello? Vincenzo? Hello? Vincenzo, I... I can't hear you. What? What do I have to do? Wonderful. Fertilizer. Are you sure you got this? Of course I'm sure. If I don't know something, I can ask Vincenzo. Ah, the windmill's causing too much interference. The radio doesn't work. Ah. Then I'll figure it out myself. It's as easy as I. And you're certain? Oh yeah, hit it. He That'll work. everything to me. Really? We'll do. Me and you will do. <laughs> no reason we won't do just. And Fine. Like I said, easy as pie. The bombs are ready. You're up. Take the charges and secure them to the spots Vincenzo marked for us. Planting bombs. Oh, what could go wrong? Didn't we only have two? Right? Yes, precisely. Seriously though, didn't we only have two bombs? Or did he cut into the C4 so that... Like I said... We could... I Yeah, I don't know. I swear, we only had two bombs. And with that damage for one-handed weapons... Now, oh, yeah, shit. There's a reason I opened this menu. Boost our health a little bit. The bombs are ready. 
Not sure if I need to. You kill us, we kill oh, you. yep, 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 yep. Worry about stealth. Worry about stealth. Second, I gotta. How do I use that blast mod? R2 and X. Okay, it's R2 X. the third bomb that I swear didn't exist in the first place. I, I, again, unless he cut the C4 and then used fertilizer to enhance the blasts. I, I, I don't know. I'm just making a guess. garbage. Uh -huh. Explosives are in place. Time for the fireworks. Would you like the honors? I know how much this means to you.
Wait a minute. No. The detonator isn't triggering. Must be interference from the wind. <laughs> okay, one, that was what I was thinking it was, but I also like love the hey, look, the, 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 the joke Joker from Batman. Whatever. They must be off. I'll have it fixed in a flash. Gotta see this through. It's what are you doing? An armed bomb? Before the people. Another one? Giving you an armed. Um, uh, uh, armed. Where is he getting these things? We can't rely on radio detonation. Not with all the interference. What now? This one is guaranteed to blow up the whole windmill. All right, how much time do I have? Let me count. Mm. It'll blow any second. Run! But oh, thank you. Where am I supposed to put it? Where? You have to go back. A and? And plant it on. Uh, uh, place it on. On planet, planet where? On the generator? No! Not there! You leave it by the base of the windmill? No! That will accomplish nothing! Oh. I assume it's not throwing the... Oh, okay. You have to climb up to the rota! To the very top? You serious? Yeah, it's ticking, by the way. You really think we have time for jokes? Now, I wonder if I would have had more time if I got the location right on the first guess. Can't use that to climb. Oh, come on. I was about to say, for the love of God, grab onto something. Don't just fall to your death. Come on, 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 come on. Did it. What have you done to him? 
It looks like I picked my side in this war. That's what I call a boom. <laughs> I got my boom. <laughs> you, you, you got them pretty good. Huh? And we, we got them good. Without you, the windmill would still be standing. Almost like the fireworks in 90... Uh, 90... Uh, even... Ah, uh, man. I'm old. You're now just, just realizing that? Quit the bullshit, Aiden. I'm not that adult. <sighs> Thanks. For helping me. <laughs> I know what they think of me. Of course I know. <coughs> Tell everyone we pulled this off thanks to Vincenzo. Okay. <coughs> That's thanks to you, Alberto. No. Thanks to Vincenzo, okay? They laugh at him. Laugh because of me. <laughs> but now that we've done this, they won't laugh anymore. See, he's, he's old man's, huh? Not a cook or a, or a failure anymore. Force the peacekeepers to withdraw. Say it was him. Promise me. All right. Okay. Oh, and tell him. Tell him that. That's okay. I'll tell him. That I'm proud. Never told him that. Son, I'm proud of you. I'll tell him for you. I promise. God damn game, you give me this fun comic relief character and then you have him go out in such a great way. I mean, the performance, damn. I mean, like I said, the character was fun. Not that, you know, I mean, the performance was fine, but, I mean, he just... I, I mean, the writing, and as I, again, I'll say the, uh... The actor there, man, just, he went for broke. I will show you put on. Now it's time to blow this popsicle stand. I can't. One thing I still have to take care of. You don't get it. There's no time to waste. We can make our way to the center now. Everyone's too busy to notice. I promised Alberto I'd tell his son something for him. Do you want to finish your business or play shepherd, spreading the good word? Well, it's bad news, Hakan. Alberto is dead. I see. But the metro is empty. There might never be another chance like this. Are you sure? I have to go find Vincenzo, Hakan. I promised. A night fucking errand. Hurry. Remember Sarah and Yana. Find me at their place when you're done. If you're still alive. Yeah, I mean, I can't. I can't leave him hanging like that. That's not... That's not cool. I am going to be an asshole and do this quest on the way there because... Uh, yeah, I hate leaving things on the board. I'm not sure if I'm going to get locked out. I doubt it. I, you know, I bet the quest is going to sit around, but... Eh. Let's get it done. Why not? God damn, why is this music so good? Oh, man. 
I'm I'm honestly blown away by this game. I mean, I'm I said this earlier in this recording session, so it might have been a few videos ago, but I'm loving Horizon Zero Dawn, or Horizon Forbidden West right now. I mean, that game took what made the first game great. I think they made a lot of really good changes. The story's been interesting so far, so you know, I'm I'm really excited after lunch. That's when I'm going to sit down and play for a few hours. Um but man, this game, I would I mean, I was expecting it to be, you know, have the fun parkour, fun zombie killing, you know, I have a lot of the stuff that I loved out of the first Dying Light, but holy shit, man, this game's got great characters, it's got good writing, it's, I mean, it's got good performances, but it's got moments like that with Alberto, I fucking love that. Burn! Ow. So yeah, man, I like I said, I mean I'm I'm been blown away by this game so far. I mean it's one of those that it maybe it's because it's just my expect I, I don't wanna say my expectations were low for this game. Cause they weren't really low. I mean I, you know, it's not like I'm I mean, I was expecting high art here, but... I was expecting a fun hack-and-slash zombie-killing game, and I've got that, and so much more. I mean, hell, I was expecting this game's, uh... With how much, with how much this game was, uh, was... Delayed and messed around with in its development. Yeah, I, I figured it would be a much. Uh, I thought it would be a bigger mess. I'm dealing with them. Ow. Thanks. My name's Wash. Aiden. How noble of you, saving an enemy. What are you doing here? I'm afraid that's top secret. So you're a spy. Should I warn the locals about you? All right, I'll tell you. It's a secret, just not a military secret. I was supposed to meet a girl here, from the bazaar. Don't see anyone here. Looks like she stood you up. This wasn't a date. We wanted to leave the city, get beyond the walls. Yeah, it's not that easy. We would find a way. Why do you want to leave? Chloe's had enough of there being shortages of everything at the bazaar, especially water. But the bazaar has I fixed water. that problem. Chloe doesn't know that yet. She lives outside the bazaar. We just go to her and check. I will. And can I ask you a favor, to save time? I'll go to Chloe's place. Can you go to her friend Liz's? Chloe's always over there. She lives at 25 Wuthering Mews, third floor, above the old vegetarian restaurant. It's near the clinic. I'll see what I can do. Thanks. Let me know over the radio when you get there. See, I find these side missions to be really hit and miss. When it comes to keeping your choices in mind, I mean, if you know, you remember the whole thing with Dodger. You know, it, it seemed like he... I don't know. It, it seemed like at times knew that we'd already done those side quests for Dodger. And at times acted like this was our first time dealing with him. It was kind of weird. But then you have this one with the PK calling us enemy. So I'm assuming this quest would have different dialogue. If we made different choices, or if we worked with the PKs instead of the, uh, the survivors. Okay. 
And though I, I also really like how this game's handling its, uh, handling its choices. I mean, a lot of games that have, you know, the sort of uh, morality, not morality system, uh, 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 you know, your choices influence the game, you know, kind of choose your own adventure, whatever. You know, they have one, you know, it, it, it's obviously, it's always a binary choice. You know, it's always a binary choice. Sometimes there's a third option. But, you know, it's always do you want A or B, and then that's the big moral choice for the that section of the game. On this one, it's been, okay, do you want A or B? Well, okay, now that you've chosen path A, you know, now that you've chosen path A, we're going to, uh, you know, it, about five minutes later, you're going to have to make a choice that's going to send you down either path uh, A1 or A2. And now that you've chosen A sub 1, now you have to pick A lambda, whatever, you know what I mean? You, you, it's... You make one choice, that leads you to a spot pretty soon that leads you to another choice, and... Looking for Chloe. What for? She's not here. Wash. Chloe's not here. She's not at home either. Aiden, she must be at Liz's. I don't know where else she could be. Alright, I'll wait for her here. I hope you don't mind. I do. Chloe's gone. Like, gone, gone. Got it? Tell Wash to just forget about her. Chloe's left without him. Left? Or about to leave with you, I gather. Maybe. Why leave? There's water again. Yesterday they were fighting over water. Tomorrow it'll be another thing. Blood's always flowing here. We've had enough. We want to try somewhere else. We, that is, you and Chloe. So what about Wash? Wash? He was just our ticket out, that's all. Now he can fuck off. There was nothing I could do, Chloe. Wash? Chloe! Wait, so that's Chloe? I'm a grunt. No one told me what was gonna happen. Please, don't leave without me. Let me go with you, the three of us. Liz won't agree. So convince her. Aiden, come on, say something, please. You've been outside, you know how things are beyond the walls. You won't make it outside the city anyway. Two, three people, doesn't matter. You don't know what you're walking into. We could stay here, Chloe. You've got water now, right? So the fuck what? I want to leave. So how will you get past the PK? We'll think of something. And how will you survive without UV lamps? You're right. This whole plan was stupid. Really, that was all it took? Two, two You'll counterpoints. Stay. I'll stay. Okay. But I don't want to see you anymore. What? You were a means to an end, Wash. If we're staying, well, the end. But, Chloe, it wasn't supposed to go down this way. Sorry. Damn you, Aiden. What the fuck? Thanks for the advice. Game, I was praising your writing, and then you do that. That was really fucking weird. It's not even good. Eh. I guess I should be saying this game's writing is hit and miss. Because it's got moments like those, but I've been finding more often than not it's not that bad. I like the little inhalers. Wait, did I see? Oh, cool, I can craft right from my, uh... 
right from my my radio menu. That's awesome. If you're wondering what the little inhaler I used, it's a it's basically it's a heal over time sort of thing as opposed to the bandages that heal instantly. So it was Carl who betrayed them. I hope the kids are all right. Haven't seen them for weeks. Oh, okay. I didn't how how do we figure that out? I call that a wrap. All cleaned up. Didn't put up much of a fight. Yeah, because they're cowards. Told you before. What about the prisoners? Throw them in the dungeon? Unless you feel like banging them first. Look. It's Chubbs. They killed Chubbs? Looks like it. But only him, I think. We gotta tell Anderson. Yeah, but where is she? Should have been here ages ago. I'll look for her. One down. I'm gonna guess that guy's a glitch. Because he shouldn't be standing there. See, that's something else this game still kind of has. It has a little bit of jank. Get moving. Which I'm actually fully on board with the with the jank of this game because I like the jank of the original. We got orders yet. Anderson's still not here. Wouldn't be asking if I'd seen her, would I? Calm down when you blow a gas. Those bizarre ass. You're free. I thought it was over, man. I can't believe Carl betrayed us. Fuck, Pilgrim. At first I thought you gave us up. But Carl... If it wasn't for him, the Peacekeepers wouldn't have attacked. But he fled right after the blast. There are more on the upper level. Okay, I'll go there. You run. So I kind of like how it's people that we've helped in previous quests. Oh, hey, how you doing, Bill? Stupid, bizarre jackholes. Say jackals or jackholes? Move to the upper floors. Apparently, I can't grab anything. Brave, strong commander like Mac can end this <coughs> Catch you stealing, you lose a hand, pal. No order without strict. <coughs> <coughs> Was the guy on fire? Get moving. Hey, Aiden. Hey, don't be scared. It's safe now. <sighs> Thank you. It's that woman who tried to give me to babysit her kid. Vincenzo. Aiden, watch out! Aiden's gonna pay me hella gold for you! Cut! 
Guy wasn't even worth a golden shower. Get up, Aiden. Thanks, man. That makes us even. It's not over yet. Aiden! Aiden! Come on, Whoa. coward! Ooh. Come down and fight! You better get out of here, Anderson. You're on bizarre turf. Look, tell Aider there's still time to call this off. Why would he do that? We're winning. You're stupider than I thought. Come down and fight and stop using your bizarre buddies as human shields. I wasn't, but okay. Aiden, no! Ooh, nice katana. I'm gonna guess I will not be able to loot that from you. But man, I'd love to. Just you and me, Anderson. Scum. That all you got? <laughs> Surprise, bitch! I should have killed you. <laughs> And destroyed on the last kill. Aiden, we have reports that Aider's men are retreating. The plan worked. We took out their lights and the infected tore them to pieces. They don't stand a chance without him. Aider withdrew his men. They're in the metro tunnels. We're not getting to the center that way. Carl betrayed us. He's the one who went to the peacekeepers and warned them. Claimed he wanted to prevent bloodshed, but made things worse. But now, I run the bazaar, and I promise, we will defeat Ador, and I will take you to the central loop. Sophie runs the bazaar! For Sophie! <laughs> they know how many PK creeps it takes to screw in a light bulb? None, because they're too dead to screw anything. <laughs> okay. Alberto's dead. Don't be a buzzkill, Aiden. Yeah. <laughs> I'm serious. He was killed taking down the windmill. How'd it happen? We put Vincenzo's plan into motion, but then... Alberto had to go in his son's place. Sacrificed himself to blow up the windmill. Fuck me. To Alberto! To Alberto! So... Where's Vincenzo? He's outside. Look around. I would very much like your sword. Vincenzo. Aiden. My dad, he really did it. Your father wanted me to tell you, um, he's always been proud of you. Very proud. What? Why are you telling me this and not him? He died, Vincenzo. Died for the bazaar. Was he in pain when he died? No, he was all smiles because of you. And because he was able to carry out your plan. Thanks for being there with him, Aiden. Your dad kicked ass, Vincenzo. Yeah, Alberto's all right. Hell of a craftsman. For a loser, you mean. For a failure. That's what you used to say. If only we had more like Alberto, the PKs would have been gone ages ago. You... Go in and check on Vincenzo. Now! You did a freaking awesome job, Aiden. We'll beat the PK and we'll help you get to the center. I hate your beard. Get rid of it. The bizarre family. 
Thanks, Barney. Good luck. Good luck, Pilgrim. I gotta say, I don't hate you as much as I used to. Hey, Hakon. Where are you? I'm waiting for you at the girl's place. You'd better hurry, Aiden. The passage to the center. It's blocked. I have another idea. Just come quickly. Time is not on our side. Okay. I'm coming. Alright, it's noon, meaning it is my lunchtime. So I wish you all the best. Thank you for watching, as always. Social media can be found down in the description below. Please remember to like, comment, and if you're not already, please subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned for more next time. Until then, my name's AJ Gels, the Sum of the Game Channel. I'm out.